Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In this video, we have one very interesting and challenging rational equation x minus 1 over 3 whole square plus 1 over 3 equal to square root of 69 minus 2 over x plus 2. And we are going to find real solutions only. So let's get started by writing denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to negative 2. Now I can write our equation as x minus 1 whole square over 3 square so 9 plus 1 over 3 equal to square root 69 minus 2 over x plus 2. Now I can multiply both sides with 9. Now we can write our equation 9 and 9 will be cancelled out x minus 1 whole square plus 9 over 3 is 3 equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2 over x plus 2. Now we will use algebraic formula a minus b whole square which will be equal to a square minus twice ab plus b square. Let's apply here. So I can write x square minus 2x plus 1 plus 3 equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2 over x plus 2. Now this will become 4. So we can write x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2 over x plus 2. Now x is not equal to minus 2. So we can cross multiply. So I can write x plus 2 times x square minus 2x plus 4 equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2. Now we know the formula a cube plus b cube. This is equal to a plus b times a square minus ab plus b square. So if I will plug in a equal to x and b equal to 2, let's see what will come out. So I will write x cube plus 2 cube equal to x plus 2 times x square minus 2x plus 2 square which is 4. So this side is nothing but our LHS. So we can write equation as x cube plus 2 cube equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2. Now 2 cube is 8. So we can write x cube plus 8 equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 2 or we can write x cube plus 8 will be equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 18. Let's subtract 8 from both sides. So minus 8 minus 8. So this will be over. In LHS x cube will be left. So I can write x cube equal to 9 times square root 69 minus 18 minus 8 minus 26. Now we will use Simon's favorite factoring trick. Steps are dedicated steps 
so we'll multiply both sides with 8 first so 8 times x cube equal to 8 times 9 square root 69 minus 26 so 8 we can write it is 2 cube x cube equal to 72 times square root 69 minus 8 times 26 is 208. Now we know the property from exponents a power c times b power c. We can write a b whole power c. So we can write our LHS as 2x whole cube. And RHS will become 72 square root 69 minus 208. Now I will split 72. 69 plus 3. So I can write 2x whole cube equal to 69 square root 69 plus 3 square root 69. Now minus 208, we can write minus 1, minus 207. Now I will rearrange the terms in RHS. I can write 69 square root 69 first term, minus 1 second term, then minus 207 third term, and plus 3 times square root 69 as fourth term. So 69 square root 69 is square root 69 whole cube. Now 1 we can write it is 1 whole cube minus 3 times square root of 69 whole square which is 69 times 3 207 times 1 and then I can write 3 times square root 69 times 1 square. So our right hand side is replicating one algebraic formula. If I will write a cube minus b cube minus 3a square b plus 3a b square which is nothing but a minus b whole cube. So our RHS will be equal to square root 69 minus 1 whole cube and LHS is already 2x whole cube. Now I will consider cube root both sides for the real value of x. So we will write 2x will be equal to square root 69 minus 1. Now divide both sides by 2. This 2 and 2 will be over. We will get our answer x equal to square root 69 minus 1 over 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Take care of yourself.